Hello, everyone. Welcome to the January 5th, 2022 update for North Tonawanda City Schools. My name is Greg Boitella, and I am the superintendent of North Tonawanda City Schools with your update for January 5th. So we do have a few things going on. I was waiting a minute or two to see if the interpreter was going to get here, but I figured it was more important to start on time. And we will have uh, interpreters at the board meeting, so anything that needs to be said, we'll say it there again. So anyone who needs that service, you can watch for that. Uh, a couple things that we've added to the web page, which is important. So um, there is a way now on the top when you go to the web page. There's um, a number of words at the top, such as departments, uh, our schools, those types of things. If you click on departments, you can then go to um, down to food service. And when you open food service, there's a button on there that says contact us. Because we know that um, things are different with free breakfast and lunch for everybody. And that changes all the time from the government on how and when we can do that. But then um, sometimes kids um, are telling us that, you know, this wasn't done or they didn't have enough food and we're hearing about it sometimes after the fact. And so this way, um, if your child does come home and have a, an issue, they can do that. They're always welcome to, to tell the principal right away because then they can kind of investigate it right there and then. And, but we hope that this way, um, if you go to contact us, it'll go right to our food directors, which then um, are centrally housed, but then there's a, like a head cook in each kitchen and uh, we can get you that information back to you sooner hopefully then later. So please take advantage of the web page, uh, go to departments. When you click on departments, go to food service, and then when we open food service opens, it's on the bottom left for contact us. And you'll be able to send them an email um, or there's a phone number there as well. So either way, depending on what time it is. Um, we have uh, gotten our uh, COVID tests for everybody. Um, they came uh, in Monday late morning, early afternoon, and um, we are doing uh, distribution. We gave out over 800 already this morning, and we'll be back from 4 to 6 today on Meadow Drive at the Alumni Center of Fine Arts Stores, which is between the middle school and the high school, where many of you are probably familiar with going to plays or concerts or parking to walk through to the football field in the multi-purpose field back there for tennis and lacrosse and soccer and all that. So um, there will be people there from four to six tonight. If you can't get it today, don't panic. We will then do a global call with telling families who are still interested in getting them but couldn't make one of our windows today um, where they'll be available uh, going forward so you can do that. Uh, I want to clarify something about that. So there's, um, we're still working in the county to see if we can do test to stay, which is a good thing, because a lot of students, if they're uh, designated close contact, are being told they have to quarantine. But if that's the case going forward and we can do test to stay and there's enough test kits that the Department of Health approve, then uh, they could get back sooner. So we're hopeful, we're hopeful for that to come into as well. Um, with all the new tests that are going out, they're at home tests, but that means if you just get a positive, there are directions and there is a link on, to the Niagara County Department of Health on our webpage, or you can go right to the Niagara County Department of Health webpage and put in your positive result. That way, if you uh, need the school to be notified or your employer or anyone like that, um, it's in the system and then um, the COVID days sort of thing cover that. So uh, once again, we will be uh, distributing uh, the at-home COVID tests. There's a box of two for each child. So we got over 3,000 of them and um, you can pick them up at the 405 Meadow Drive, which is in between the middle school, high school at those alumni center, fine arts center doors from four to six tonight. So we hope to see you there and you can take advantage of that. Uh, going forward too, we want to remind you that the state has sort of said all indoor activities, venues, even if you are a spectator at a sporting event or if we're having a play or anything like that or dances or whatever, masks must be worn. So just, you know, be prepared um, for that piece um, because we were um, in the fall when we started and there's more outdoor, it wasn't uh, as mandated as it is now. So 
our numbers did shoot up over the holidays and um, we're watching that closely. I'm also watching the snow forecast because that's the next job, right? Is are we gonna be open or closed? It does look like the North Towns where we are won't get a lot, but we also have to watch for um, if it's icy or bad conditions, if it's safe to come to school. So we'll be watching that all night and I'll let you know as soon as possible uh, what the North Tonawanda City School District will be doing for that piece. But um, right now we're in, we're in contact with sort of Tonawanda, Niagara Wheatfield, our surrounding Star Point ones, looking at that area. Um, as you go farther north, it looks like there's going to be less snow. So, um, and we are in Western New York, so a little snow won't shut us down, but uh, we know that there's a lot of people that, uh, and we have students that have outside placements that have to go into the South Town sometimes, or at least Erie County, and we have to watch that. So I will be uh, notifying you as soon as possible with that. Um, but right now there's no decision made for tomorrow because right now it's four inches over the whole Wednesday to Thursday. So, um, and that's not, doesn't look like it'll be enough, but we'll have to see. If there's whiteout conditions or icy snowing, any roads are closed that would affect uh, our transportation. So we'll keep you posted on that. So those were the top ones. Um, let's see. Yeah, so if you're a person who don't have transportation, we're going to come up with a plan for that. Um, we don't believe we want to be sending them home with students, so we have to come up with that plan. And if you need it, the best place to start is with your school and let them know that your students are there. And then we can kind of come up with a plan for that going forward. I see that, let's just go back up here. The food quality. Um, we got is there no talk about remote learning actually they're very adamant that we do stay open because in-person uh, learning is best so um, but things change right and we're ready if we need to for any kind of breakout or anything that they might want to take a break from there's the link for the food service to contact us uh, people who don't have transportation will be sending uh, letters out in a global call um, to let you know how and when those will be available. Uh, so the, I think when you're saying the school lunch is sent home in plastic bags, you're referring to the breakfast that's take home for that. Um, so a, ba a plastic bag or a paper bag is still pretty soft and if you have an iPad in there it could still get smushed but maybe you're saying with the handles it'd be easier for him to carry it outside his backpack. Um, the issue with the plastic bags as you know in New York is that you can't get them as readily as they used to be because they don't want us using them even for tops and Wegmans and all these you gotta take your own bag in. So I don't know that that'll be possible but um, I will definitely mention it to them. Oh, they're giving in bags yes. I'm wondering I'm wondering too, my sister needs one for her son, but I'm not allowed to get for her. Uh, correct. So we're giving it, um, when you come in, these are my kids, and that's how we're starting it. We're going to see, like we said, we got over 800 out today, and we have, we think we'll get another eight, 900 this afternoon when we do the four to six. So then um, we'll be having to answer all these ways to get it um, that people need, because I know that everyone doesn't have transportation, but... Um, it's also not safe to be sending these things home if uh, kids start to tamper with them. Then they're no good when they get home. Or like the lunch example where the iPad smushed it or cracked the box open or the fluid, the fluid leaked. So trying to be um, safe about that and how we get them out. But if you definitely need one, start with your building. Let them know you don't have transportation and you'd like one. And then in the coming day, probably Thursday and Friday, we'll be sending global calls on how you can get those. Why isn't calling these students allowed if their tests, if they're provided by the state? So um, that that just came out that we can provide them for the county students. The issue is, 
and I think we're getting a separate shipment for the private schools, is that they went by last year's BEDS data, which is nothing that you need to know about, but they went by our student population in district. And so they didn't send us enough for everybody, but we let them know that right away. And North Tonawanda has Connie, but there's other school districts that have more charter schools or private schools in there, and they said they would do their best to get those as soon as possible. What we'll probably do with those is um, give those those numbers right to the private school, and then they'll to, to let you know how you're going to get those. Uh, with Regents canceled this year for high school and the kids now have classes, does that adjust the timeline? No, because um, only the high school, right, number one, um, had that exam week. Everyone else was in and they're part of the 180 days. And the state lets you count the region exams days as attendance days. So if we didn't have regents exams and we didn't have school, then we'd have to make them up. So it's still all, it's all calculated the same as 180. So there's not uh, extra days there. Uh, let's see. Maybe no. Connie. Her iPad was not sent home. She doesn't even know what she's doing. She will be out of school for almost a month and will be far behind. Uh, so again, uh, Cassie Owens there, I would call the school, let them let them know, you know, where she left it or where it is or whatever, and then um, what we can do to get her work and how she's caught up. Everyone should have by now, um, especially in K-1s, I don't know what grade level she's in, but um, been working with the kids to show them how to log in and see assignments. And um, even though they are in school, we were encouraging teachers to have them submit them using the iPad so that kids would get used to that. All right, I'm not sure they do have class as there are still midterm finals. Are. No, so yeah, there are midterm finals, but they'll be giving them in class. So they will be having class. Well, every student in NTI has an iPad, so um, that's not going to be a problem. I don't know if they're saying don't send them home because we're using them in class and then kids forget them at home and then they can't do the assignment or the, or the lesson, but we can get her one, so we'll get her one. On COVID tests, I have one child, special needs, that is part of NT school district, however, attends school in Gasport. Is she eligible to receive COVID test package? Yes. Great, thank you. We kind of addressed the snow day. We don't think we're going to have that much snow here, but it's also going to depend on road conditions and travel for our busing and walking students, so we'll see. But um, two to four inches isn't enough to close school, but we have to see the timing of it and if sidewalks and roads are clear and all that stuff, it all plays into it. Be a late night for me tonight to figure that out. Uh, let's see. Thank you. All right, so snow day is covered that when we, um, no more this evening. We do have sort of radar tracking right for North Tonawanda. Um, the issue though, as I mentioned, is that we know that not everybody is coming to North Tonawanda from North Tonawanda. Some people live in Hamburg or other places uh, and travel. The other thing is that we have students, like you saw there, that a student goes out to Gasport and other places. And so all that's considered when we are calling a snow day. Um, if your son or daughter is an NT student and um, their school district is closed and NT is open, they still won't go to that out of district school because they're not open. So, um, and we'll kind of cover that again in the global call when we post school. We'll make sure everybody knows what's going on. Let's see. Okay. Hard when you have kids going to different schools school districts, I can imagine. Yes, um, they're going all over the place and yeah, one school district's open, one's not. Here's the other thing though, if North Tonawanda's closed, 
um, and the school district outside of North Tonawanda that your students placed in, um, they won't be transported. So they would get the snow day, and it wouldn't count like as an absence. It would be a snow day because NT was closed. So that's the other part of that. So don't forget, if you can, get over to the Meadow Drive Alumni Center between 4 and 6 tonight. We'll be handing out the take-home COVID tests, and then we'll be giving you directions on how to get them if you missed today's window. Also, remember, if you're coming to school, even to pick up a COVID test, that you wear a mask because we are directed to enforce that rule that masks are worn. And then the link is earlier in the comments for the contact the food service page. So if you need um, or have questions about that in general, um, they'd be happy to talk to you about that. Did he address this? There are many times my daughter, there are many times my daughter is very little because she's in this class. Yeah, so I did um, see that Facebook post. People are happy to share those with me. And um, we did talk and there's plenty of food they assure us every day. So in this particular situation, not that uh, your daughter said there wasn't enough food and we don't believe her, but I would um, direct her to kind of like ask to see the principal right away because there should be no reason for that. And if someone's telling her that's all that's left, that's not true. Um, it may not be what she wants to order because just like when you go to a restaurant, sometimes they say we're out of that and it's off the menu for the day. We have this to substitute for it, but there will, should be always something for them to eat. Yes, and now you can contact the food about that and the school and the lunch period and everything directly and they can make sure that she's, uh, what's happening there gets corrected if there's something going on. All right, so it is January 5th. I'm scheduled to be back January 19th, but I have a feeling with all the things going on with COVID and snow days and different things like that, you'll probably see me sooner than later. Um, so I'm happy to be back. Let's hope that 2022 is better than 2021 and that um, everything starts to settle down here after that kind of two week push after the holidays. So we get back to normal. Uh, if you have questions, you can still put them in here and um, we'll get notification of that for the next 48 hours. We'll try to get you to the right person or get you an answer and stay safe. Remember, we're trying to get back to normal and we all need to do our part. So thank you for watching today. Please share this so other people can see it. And we will see you on the 19th of January, if not sooner. Thank you very much.